hello so i am back again with some books that are made and they are now in my etsy shop so i made six journals they are eco printed spring um journals in spring colors and some free hand free motion embroidery so i have these three and um they are 20 20 by 18 centimeters they are square so they are pretty much i think it's 18 by 18 here and then you have the spine so it's not quite 20 it's 18 by 18 they have this wooden closure it's it's got a lot of room for grow grow growth and so the closure is quite loose but you just took it in the button like that and yeah and so you can fill it up and it's got five signatures um spring colored uh, porcelain beads with a red bead to go with the rusty color in the moss and this is one piece of eco printed fabric this is thick vintage cotton and uh, this is as you can see embroidery hoop that was um, light bamboo but i inked it so now it's like this nice rich chestnut brown and you can see the embroidery hoop sits in a little bit. I made this sort of circle groove around. You can see in a shape of the hoop. So it sits in, it looks like it's meant to be there, which obviously it is. It's attached to the cover. It's glued and sewn into the cover. So it's solid and it's got this brass screw i love the look of it and um, that's rusted linen with some um, gel printing and cheesecloth with a free motion embroidery you can see all these different colors of thread in the moss and uh, i will show you this one this one is orange and you can see the browns and beiges and the fibers from the cheesecloth in the moss. And then this one is half uh, this green, golden green uh, linen that I brought from Czech Republic and I was gonna make some clothes with it, but I um, used it for journals. <laughs> all I seem to wear is the same stuff all the time. And I just really love it on the journals. And it's got these yellow threads in the green. It, I don't think it shows on the video. It's very sort of spring green golden color. And then you have the moth which is dark green and rust and a fern print and this um, this eco print panel is on vintage cotton five signatures and it's brown green and beige and this eco print is more green and purple because that's cotinus leaves and that's um japanese maple and that's japanese maple and that's um walnut and uh, so i think that the chemical reactions and eco printing sort of make a different color and uh, i will show you inside this one now maybe yeah this one 
so you've got the wooden closure you've got the loop which is eco printed fabric stitched together and it goes in there like that you can see the yellow threads in the linen in there i can only buy this linen in czech in a department store in czech republic this color and uh, this is intaglio print of some of my rugged moths so this is an original print as always all prints all artwork is original pieces and all book pages are vintage original book pages no copies no comp no printer prints just prints eco prints intaglio prints gel prints all original work so eco printed paper vintage bird page i picked these birds that are sort of brown green yellowy to go with the spring colors the spring ideas and colors this is check um, old book page this as well from czech republic illustrated book pages um, print on handmade paper when i say handmade paper it's caddy paper from india i don't make handmade paper i buy it this is vintage book page, eco print. Now this is my fav new favorite pastel olive green color that I printed this with fabric, cotton. All my fabrics are cotton or linen, all natural. Um, this is eco printed cotton with uh, print of this branch over it. It's not a gel print, it's just branch inked and printed straight over the eco printed cotton we have designer paper which i love and that's this green muted moths and butterflies and a double pocket where you can put something flat which has been printed on handmade paper um glassing paper hand dyed book pages, handmade paper from Czech Republic, this beautifully speckly paper, textured, uh, uh, tea and coffee dyed pages, lots of spaces for you to glue things, write things, um, book page print, green this green paper is brilliant for um, fountain pens takes fountain pens really nicely now we have the linen again with the print of fern. and this is the designer paper this is um batik print so it's made with wax then it's dyed on cotton and then there is a print of some frosty branches over it so it reminds me of heron flying out of the river in the morning in frosty morning in spring so that's one pocket second pocket this is a fabric um, textile signature cover so this is italian cotton strato cotton really thick um, canvas we have pocket here pocket here pocket here all stitched together all secured another beautiful green and yellow design paper flip these are vintage book prints of animals um this is the rabbit and it's from very old little book and i love the prints i think they are illustrations but they look like photographs it's like as if they are half and half um maybe in like 
in olden days when they used to take photograph and then they used to paint over it or color it in maybe that's the idea maybe that's how it was done i don't know but it's obviously a reprint it's a book page but it's still very old vintage book page this is this uh, chalky finish of some pines some trees about 100 years old that book is with the pine now we have some mosses double pocket a check music page paper it's got loads of um lines yellow and here we have an, a free hand embroidery of my favorite crow on this side and here we have just a plain back pocket and pocket with the linen again and more batik batik goose snow goose flying over the frozen landscape thick cotton this is thick um curtain cotton pocket there so lots of hand dyeing lots of printing lots of different techniques i use all different techniques we've got intaglio again um, this is from the printing press and these are some tree seeds um, so I went with the theme of trees and spring and birds for these journals this uh, Enid Holden February page is absolutely beautiful so all in keeping with the colors and the idea of early spring Vintage book page, a check office page, love the colors, coffee diet, some insects, uh, glassine, eco printed cotton, blackberry. Now we have um, printed green linen and tea bag decoupage, tea bag print decoupage on this caddy paper with a little tag and eco printed paper again this is where you tie the bundle so you've got the string marks and texture i love that it gives it so much texture and color vintage green map i picked the green with the woodlands to go with the colors i sewn it down here so it's a little tag Loads of sewing everywhere, office paper, coffee dyed paper, nice green paper, little vintage moss page, a very thick 640 GSM card here um, with a seed head print, flip with an envelope tea dyed envelope or coffee dyed envelope sewn there stitched and a little tag here on this thick card which is a um, moss stamp that i made the stamp it's um, uh, made in lino lino cut caterpillar and more the other side of it all eco print i love how this green comes out it's a tree i always wait for every year to shed its leaves and then i go and pick them and it's in an office block and there is like a um, camera and it beeps and everything but no one ever told me off well i'm only picking leaves that are on the floor but i shouldn't really be there but you know you do these things for art and we have another tea bag print decoupage and this is ink drawing that i made of some plants that are a little bit worse for wear after the winter on this beautiful handmade card with the green uh, acrylic background i painted this is another one of my colors it's called golden green that I really like recently. 
here we have the loop sewn together and then we just five signatures threads everywhere as always so i'm gonna cut them off and this book has a room room for growth definitely will last you quite a while it's got over 200 pages usually my books have about 250 pages front and back and then this one is similar all the pages are different everything is um one off piece but similar layout and similar pages and then we have three of these so i'm gonna put these away so we have um moths my favorite moths so we have 21 centimeters this one is more of a like a moleskin sort of size 21 centimeters by 14 and we have these pages it's full sticking out and the closure is a book, brass book ring and brass pin with the with this dangle brass tree and i will explain so this is a 640 gsm caddy paper which has been coffee dyed and this is an intaglio print from my printing press of my moths in paints gray this is how you open it and this is what it looks like so we've got this beautiful piece of eco printed cotton vintage cotton uh, we've got a stitch in i didn't want to stitch into the moth so the stitching goes like this and sewn around so it's a bit rustic the sewing i wanted it to be a bit rustic on the paper and but here it's sewn again so everything is stitched perfectly together and it's got five signatures and it's got these this is the closure so we've got two loops two fabric sort of tabs and circle that opens like that and this one they will all have all six of these books will have brass charms i just put them on this one to show you so we have a little death hawk moth we have we have a um, leaf another leaf and we have this tree of life charm and it's got loads of hardware and there is somewhere made to made with love made with love charm and this is tea bag print decoupaged on the caddy paper this is such a thick caddy paper it's 640 gsm that's like solid it's semi hard cover but it's uh, it's sort of hard and um, we have these dragonflies on this one and this eco printed fabric so and this seed heads and fern so this is what this one is like and then we have one more another intaglio print of my beautiful i don't know why i shouldn't call myself my I call my work beautiful <laughs> i do like my work but it's a bit yeah I just like the detail in them and the uh, 
shades and uh, now we have the Chinese maple again and these these moths have loads of different threads in them worked into them loads of different colors sort of different colors when when uh, light shines in them because there's so many different threads worked into them so i'm gonna maybe go with this one it's similar to the books before but because it's different size it's a little bit different they are very compact nice in your hands we have this um inside the linen and we have this cotton because this goes with these moths these colors and this goes with these uh, dragonflies and this one is burnt orange again sort of burnt orange because the moth is pink and burnt orange so I explained this this is intaglio print of um, cotinus leaves everything is a pocket or a tag the, um, eco printed paper now my yellow and green birds drawing paper take 110 gsm coffee dyed paper check flower page three cotton pocket printed pocket this is stuck together. We have the eco printed cotton with the gel print of the branch. I love this because you see loads of branches that have no leaves yet, but in the background it's all getting green. It's um, yeah, it's how everything looks at the moment here. So that really inspired me to do this sort of print. On the eco printed fabric we've got this little tag with this um, linen the double pocket again on the designer paper this beautiful green turquoise glassine these spring flowers from this from my check book is from 1978 handmade paper from the czech republic this time it's yellow i think the one before was green i don't have much of it i think that's it now it was not cheap um i bought two sheets and i used them beautiful bird of prey print now you have the beads again porcelain beads green with this button green yellow ochre now these green pages like i said fountain pen works great on them so very similar layout and very similar technique same technique so we have this batik print again, but it's long instead of square. So we have the heron that's in each book and the uh, uh, canvas. So you have loads of pockets in the middle signature because it's just um, signature cover is just textile. And so you can fit a lot of stuff in there. Loads of greens, yellows trees and birds and some bags bags are good um now we have the snow geese print again so this is made with the batik technique with the wax and then it's hand dyed with this midnight blue and some double 
double prints there you have three branches and you have um, yeah it's got many layers of prints green glassine now i love these beetles it always cheers me up when i find a beetle i don't see them very often maybe more abroad when it's warmer here is um three intaglio print of three seeds again on a green dyed caddy paper caddy paper comes white and then i dye it coffee dye it or dye it with dyes or natural dyes just depends what, what i feel like it i don't really plan it much um eco print on cotton cotinus leaf outline and um bramble or blackberry more prints more fabrics and the decoupage of the tea bag again on this really rich brown card caddy paper card i love how this coffee dyed it sort of orangey with the dango eco print of the green leaves again vintage green map oh i love these photographs that book is um maybe 1920s and i love how the light falls on the trees in this image these are from lake district inverness shire birches in glen Affrix. this this is book about the trees in britain most of my books are about british animals and plants and check animals and plants this is that thick 100 and, uh, 640 gsm cardigan that i printed with this seed head uh, the uh, envelope flip again with the stamp sewing loads of textures here and loads of interest oh look at that just so pretty i love vintage photos in books made with love ink drawing tea bag decoupage string always string no the dragonflies look at how many colors i managed to weave in the Have a look at this same again more of the same slightly different white and green this time this. i love when my plan comes together I have learned the batik this year and I am by no means an expert because the pieces they are made from batik especially in India it's mind blowing but this is the style I want to work in and this is how I work and this is how I want it to be um, so I'm very happy with what I achieved quite short time lone goose in the frosty morning so here we go another six journals on etsy and thank you so oh, dango thank you so much for watching and uh,
and thank you so much for buying my snow geese journals yesterday very appreciate it thank you and i'll see you soon bye bye